Hi, in this video, we're going to look at how to prevent the player from sticking to the edge of platforms in a 2D platformer game with Unity. So in the previous video, we looked at how to get the player to jump. And uh, one of the problems you might notice is that it's easy for the player to get stuck on the edge of platforms when you're trying to jump, um, especially if you're trying to jump and move sideways at the same time. So you can see here I am jumping and when I get close to the edge of the platform and I'm holding down the right key here um, when I jump as well, I'm basically getting stuck on that left edge of the platform. And uh, yeah, it's quite annoying. So what we're gonna look at in this video is how to fix that problem. And uh, there could be two causes. So the first problem is that there might just be too much friction. All right. so. Um, it might be better if we can make the player just kind of slide off the edge of that platform. So reduce the friction a little bit. And the other problem could be to do with the type of collider that you have for either the player uh, or for the platforms themselves. So uh, with my player, I'm actually using a polygon collider. And if we zoom in really close, you can see that there is a bit of an overhang here. And so there's the potential for this part of the player's collider to get stuck, uh, if it's falling, to get stuck on the edge of a platform. That's potential, that could potentially happen. Now we could edit the collider. Um, we can click this little button here and we could edit this polygon collider just to smooth things off a little bit like that. And that might fix that problem uh, as well. But we can also just completely change the collider if we want to. So. What I'll do now is instead of using the polygon collider, I'm gonna show you how to change that collider. And you might not need to do this if you just increase the, uh, sorry, if you just decrease the friction of platforms and ground, that might fix the problem. But if the problem is to do with the collider, then what you can do is remove it. So I'm gonna remove this polygon collider 2D. I'm gonna go down to add component. And in physics 2D, I'm going to look for another type of collider that might be uh, a bit more appropriate. So I'm going to use a capsule collider. So if I click on that, it's actually looking more like a circle at the moment, but I can edit that. So I'll click on edit collider and I'm going to drag the sides in like that. All right, so it's in the shape of a capsule. All right, and so the, the sides are much, much more rounded off, much smoother. All right, so we shouldn't have any problems with uh, our collider getting stuck on uh, on the edge of a platform, right? So I'm done editing that collider. Now you'll notice that on the rigid body 2D component, I still have freeze rotation Z ticked or checked. So the uh, player's not just gonna flip over when they start moving, it's not gonna tip over. Uh, so that's, that's still fine. You don't need to do anything there. Now that could fix the problem, but if the problem is to do with the friction on the platforms, then what you'll need to do is create a new physics 2D material. Now I've already got a folder that I've, um, I'm using to store all my physics materials. And what I'm gonna do is create a new one. So right click in that assets panel there, create 2D and then physics material 2D. If you're using an older version of Unity, then it might just be somewhere else in the list here. But what we need is a physics material 2D and I'm going to call this one slippery because that's exactly what it's going to be for is to make objects a little bit more slippery. All right, so I've created that physics 2D material. If we go over here to the inspector panel, we can see friction by default is 0 0.4. I'm going to reduce that or just actually reduce it all the way to zero. All right, and now I'm going to test this out on a platform. I'm going to click on this platform here and I'm actually just going to make sure that I've selected the platform and not haven't selected the, the grass or anything else there and I'm going to go to the collider that's attached to this platform which is this polygon collider 2d and the material at the moment is none so I'm going to click and drag my slippery material onto that box there and test this out all right so the game is running I'm going to try and jump and you can see now when I jump against the edge of that platform I'm definitely not getting stuck to it. All right, and even if I try and fall off the edge there, I'm not really getting stuck either. I do slip off the edge of that platform. So, all right, so that has fixed the problem. I don't get stuck on the edge of that platform. 
Uh, can I get stuck on this edge? Yes, I can. So we can see there's a clear difference there. I don't get stuck on that platform, but I do get stuck on the bigger platform. So what I can do is just go through all my other platforms there and use that same slippery physics material 2D that I created before and assign that as the material for the colliders on all of these other platforms and that should fix the problem. You can also apply that physics material to the player object as well, but it's not really necessary. Um, it's clearly solved the problem by just adding that, that physics material to the platforms. And the problem probably wasn't so much to do with the collider using the polygon collider, but there was a bit of an overhang on that polygon collider. So there was the potential for it to get stuck on um, the corner of co uh, the collider for the platform or other objects. So using a capsule collider just kind of rounds things off or smooths uh, the lines on the collider. Uh, or just even if you're using a polygon collider, just going in to edit that collider and just smoothing things off a little bit um, should also fix any problems that might occur there. Anyway, that's it for this video. That's how you can prevent the player from getting stuck on the edge of platforms. Thanks for watching.